Hey, I'm Kirk Conley with Redmond Hunt. I'm Gene Price with Redmond Hunt. You know, Gene, we've been we've been looking out here in the fields. It's the end of August, and a lot of these bucks are starting to strip their antlers, and it's that time of year. Um, you know, we're excited. Hunting season's right around the corner, but one thing about this time of year, when they start stripping their antlers, is they leave they leave trophy rock, and you know, so we got to kind of change up our strategy a little bit. And you know, they're not going to hit the rock anymore. We've been watching them since summer. Mm-hmm. You know, what are we going to do now? Yeah, well, you know, mine actually started back, my strategy starts back, you know, I always start every year July 4th, you know, and I put cherry bomb out. So I get the deer really used to cherry bomb from July 4th on through the rest of the year, basically, or through hunting season. So, you know, we put it out July 4th, we get them coming to an area we want, and then when hunting season starts coming in, you know, we strategically move that back to our hunting areas. Cherry bomb problems. So they still smell it, they'll come to it, gives us a little closer to the bedding area, a little better opportunity to harvest the animal with using that as an attractant. But yeah, so, you know, deer, bucks, does, they all, you know, we always associate the bucks leaving trophy rock, you know, when their velvet goes off because we're more focused on the bucks. But the does do also because their needs have kind of been met too. So, so they, they'll really cut back or they'll go really nocturnal on it. And then even your sightings then are pretty low on it. So yeah, you need something to switch them to. And I used, I used cherry bomb. Well, it's good that you mentioned, you know, in July is when you do it. And we've got other leases. We kind of start in the summer as well. Just got to get them used to that. Cause if you just throw it out right now, they're not going to have a clue. So yeah, especially it's a real new product, you know. And, and one thing you're introducing, deer deer are pretty receptive to feeds. They have a sweet tooth, you know. So anything that smells sweet smells enticing, and then when they eat it, it is sweet. But yeah, that that first little bit to get them to come to it, they're going to be pretty hesitant, especially your mature deer. You know, it's something brand new. It hasn't been there. You know, they're pretty skittish of it. You know, and and starting them back in July fourth to me. They're in velvet, it's still summer. Their guards are very low, you know, to human encroachment. And so if you would start that after they've shed their velvet, you know, we all know when they shed their velvet, they're kind of gone. They'll disappear for a few weeks sometimes. And you throw a new product in or something that's inferior to their natural habitat at that time, it just might not be quite as effective as it was would be if you'd have started it earlier and got them used to it. Yeah, that makes total sense. Yeah, so, and, uh, you know, in doing that, we've had a tremendous amount of success in doing that. Yeah, so for any of the listeners out there, you know, like we were talking about, if, if your bucks are leaving Trophy Rock just like the rest of us, then Cherry Bomb's a great way to kind of supplement that and get them coming back to those sites. And, and, and I know we talk about it in July, but it's never too late to get it started. So if you've got issues, you know, get it thrown out there. Eventually they'll find it. If they really like it, maybe your hunting season's still a month away. Right. You know, it's never too late to start it. And, and yeah, if you're frustrated that they left the trophy rock, hey, that's normal. We're, we're used to that. So. Yeah, perfectly normal. And, yeah, like you said, it's never too late to start. But ideally, yeah, you would like, you know, July 4th is a really good. It's just July 4th to me, it's an easy date to remember. Yeah. You know, July 4th, I get all my cameras out. I don't quit running them for the rest of the year. You know, I make sure everything's ready to go. All my stands are up and ready to go. And I can just really stay out of that area you know, and leave it alone and just go back, you know, keep cherry bomb out. I still make sure my trophy rocks are up, you yeah. know, I still leave them out. And uh, that's when I get my game face on is July 4th on the upcoming season. Perfect. Well, for anybody that's not familiar with cherry bomb, it's available in six pound bags. If you want to just try it out, maybe put it on top of your current site just to give it a try. Uh, 20 pound and 40 pound bags in both apple and cherry flavor. So give it yes. a try. Yep, for sure. Well, like always, you know, thanks for listening. Make sure you follow us out there on all of our social media platforms, YouTube, um, you know, Instagram, Facebook. And, you know, be sure to join us next time on Beyond the Rock. Yep. See you next time. Thanks.